His passion for technology is unparalleled and tireless. I am so proud and extremely excited to bring to the stage a visionary and an innovator. Please help me in welcoming our guest speaker, Young Guru. Thank you. But this is great. This is great that AT&T is, is focusing on this. As people that create, we, we look at problems and we're problem solvers. That's basically what my definition of engineering is, is to say, okay, well, I'm on this side of the river. I want to get to that side. How do I do that? Right? How do we build this bridge? Learning information was great for me. Um, but back then, being a DJ was a very in-depth uh, commitment. Um, you had to learn how to build speakers. I didn't have money to just go out and buy speakers and things of that nature. So that was my first sort of engineering lessons was to learn how to build speakers, how to build crossovers. Um, you sort of shock yourself a couple times while you try to solder stuff together and then you're like, oh, I didn't die. You know, this is not going to kill me. So I decided to go to engineering school. I was like, I know how to engineer, but I want to really have a piece of paper that says I know how to engineer and I want to sit around people that know more than me and I want to know a lot more than just how to record hip-hop music because up until that point all I had done was hip-hop and R&B sessions so I went to this really small school in Rockville Maryland called Omega Recording Studios best decision I could have ever made in my life um, my professors there were very direct very um, hands-on they taught us the idea of a compressor and why certain things are on a compressor so that no matter what compressor I walked up to, I already knew the idea and had an understanding. There's a huge difference in teaching when you teach from this type of format. Um, I just had a great experience doing that. Sometimes when we're in our uh, trying to figure out our lives, you have to take that plunge. You have to sort of get up from where you are and go to wherever it is. Um, when you travel a lot, you sort of get this world view of, okay, this skin color and religion and background, none of that matters. We're all just human beings sharing this planet because everywhere that I go, people go through the same things. There's the same struggles, there's the same people that are trying to raise their kids, there's the same concerns about am I going to have a job when everything becomes automated. This is the same concerns all across the world. So. Those opportunities um, sort of started arising for me to put myself in positions to speak to some of the people that are some of the biggest influences, or I would seek these people out. Great engineers are not only the people that can turn the buttons, but they understand that dynamic of, of people. 